Hi, in this video we're going to go through how to replace a bad sway bar linkage. This is a 2006 Toyota Sienna with a clunking noise coming from the front end. This needs to be replaced. Jack up the front of the vehicle and put some jack stands and chocks under it. Then remove the wheel. The rubber on the old link is rotting away. To remove the link, use a 15mm wrench and a 17mm socket. If your sway bar link doesn't have a nut on the back, use a vice grip. Remove the 17mm nut. Repeat the same thing on the bottom. It can be hard to get leverage because the sway bar flexes. Mine was seized. Hopefully this doesn't happen to you, but if it does, cut it off with a hacksaw, a sawzall, an angle grinder, or all three. Then remove the bolt. This is the old sway bar link once it's been removed. Notice how the rubber boot failed, allowing water to get inside and the grease to escape. The ball joint didn't last long after that. And this is the cause of that clunking noise we were hearing earlier while driving. The other end is better, but not great. So now let's install the new sway bar link. These are readily available from all over the place. I like these Moog ones because they have grease zerks or ports on the back so you can replenish the grease. I'll put a link to the ones that I used in the video description. Install the new linkage to the sway bar and the strut. Then attach the nuts. These use an 18 millimeter wrench and socket, so beware that the size is different from the old ones that you removed. Torque them both to 55 pound feet. Repeat for the bottom. Once everything is tight, give everything a visual inspection. Then, put the tire back on. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Every click helps.